Lock her time. Oh, you rooter. Ooh. Ooh. So mysterious. Okay. They didn't even know how big the unit was. A lot of boxes, a lot of shelves, a lot of potential. Priority mail stickers right there. Priority mail shipping boxes right there. eBay packing tape right there. That makes me think someone's got an online business. Someone's got some like good merchandise in here. But look right here. Ooh, golf clubs galore. And here's some putters. Well, that looks expensive. Look at that. This is a little better. Ooh, what's this? Something, that's like a little insect playground down there. Gross. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Are you ready? Locker time. We are at U-Haul Storage. And this is the first of two that I bought that day. You guys probably already saw the other unit that I bought later at the auction with the wheelchair. Great unit. If you didn't go watch it, go back and watch that one because that one has a surprise ending. No so spoiler, right? No spoiler. And if you watch the auction day footage, we did go in here. Me and my friend Clyde went in here and kind of looked around a little bit and opened a few boxes just to get acquainted and just to get excited because it looks so good. And what makes it even more interesting, some new developments, I'll tell you about that in a second, but right now, let's just open it and get in there. I'm so excited. I've been at home working like on the auction and then packing and shipping and editing. I've been home way too much, way too much. I've been itching and anxious to get in here. Now's the time, let's go. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, you rooter. Oh, I, I, I forgot one thing about this unit. It is hecka dark in here. Hecka dark. All right, let me switch to my phone because the phone's got a light on it. Okay, that'll help. That will help, unless this works right here. Ooh, that doesn't help very much. Doesn't help too much. Well, <laughs> needs to recharge. Okay. Ooh, ooh. So mysterious, okay. Let me switch to the phone. This thing does better in the dark environments, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so I just want you to see right here, this is all we could see from the auction, right? You can't go through the doorway. But if you watch the auction footage, I think I probably got it, but one of the other guys, actually the guy that wound up bidding against me, he stepped in and looked back here. He probably got about this far. So he probably could only see this much, which was more than I saw. Gave him a little bit of unfair advantage, but didn't matter because I outbid him anyways. We paid thirteen hundred for this. All right, we paid thirteen hundred. He started getting soft right about eight nine hundred. I thought I was going to have it for that, but then he got back in it. So uh, I mean, where do we even begin? Where do we even begin? Let's start right here. Some people saw the wine and they thought that was interesting. I don't particularly think that's interesting. This right here looks to be like bottle caps and. Some recyclables, I'm gonna take those today. I'm gonna to try to clear any junk out. We've got some half drink water bottle there and looks like some antifreeze. Wait, that is not full, but it looks like the cap is brand new. That is not full either. So now I got some chemicals I gotta get rid of. Okay, but that's all right. Here's some golf clubs, all right? And by clubs, I mean just the shaft, all right? It's just the shaft on these. This right here says ping. This is good right here, I think. A nine iron. Ping, that looks pretty decent. All right, and I'm only showing you that because I think there's gonna be a lot of golf clubs in here. Check this out, tailor-made, big boxes right here. It's got some weight to it, we'll see if it's full. Look at, there's just shelves. I mean, first of all, there's shelves everywhere. Shelves, shelves, shelves. Over here, we've got just like a bunch of supplies and stuff on the shelves. Drill, just a bunch of really miscellaneous stuff. I mean, yeah, you really can't see that much of this locker. It's 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 got a lot of stuff. Dude, here's some more priority mail stickers right there. Priority mail shipping boxes right there. I see packing tape, especially the eBay packing tape right there. That makes me think someone's got an online business. Those are all really good signs. 
signs, really good signs that someone's got some like good merchandise in here. But it also sets a different tone than somebody who has personal stuff, right? It definitely feels more like a business. And these stack of boxes right here, Arrowhive Networks, these, this is full of brand new routers. And there are 10 per box. Uh, I think we opened it in the last episode. But I took one of the boxes home and listed it. Not high ticket. They're like 30, 40 bucks. Problem is they just rarely ever sell if at all. So I've got what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 times two. And then there's more over here. I've got like what, 160 modems? No, I have a, yeah, yeah. 160 modems. Oh man, it, it 30 bucks each. That's some good money, but I doubt we'll get that. Over here, it looks like we've got more supplies, more shipping boxes. Uh huh. Lots of supplies. A lot of bags. And then look at this right here. This garbage bag full of what appears to be all empty plastic bottles. It's just, that's just a weird thing to have in here. Priority mailboxes, priority mailboxes. But look right here. Ooh, golf clubs galore. And here's some putters, Odyssey. Dual force. Here's some tailor made. This looks like some nice stuff. Tailor made. Okay, we'll go. Th we'll get through all this. I just want to kind of look around a bit more. It's really dark in here, though. Look at this place. Wow. I mean, it's not full, but you can get down the middle. But there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of boxes. A lot of shelves. A lot of potential. To me, it looks like he had a, a eBay business, potentially golf club related. But then he's got other stuff: Lionel trains, Hot Wheels, Play School. There's a little ladder. That's kind of nice to have. And then look at this: just a mountain bike, trek, mountain bike. The really interesting thing is like we couldn't see this whole back part, right? So they didn't even know how big the unit was. They told us it, they thought it was a 10 by 10 or 10 by 15. It winds up being, I think this is 10 by 20. I'm pretty sure this is 10 by 20. So, but we couldn't see in very deep. Wow. Oh, look at all these clothes. If this is golf clothes. It could be a little bit pricey. Could be some good stuff here. Let's just see. Pants, shirts, Tahana, Bricken, linen, khaki, mock necks, and this wood file cabinet what's this i think there's empty organizers <laughs> there's so much stuff but there are mattresses here right so there you go okay and then he's got some personal stuff in here these look to be like golf bags i think golf bags back here heart stopped for a second there i thought maybe that was a safe it looks like a printer what's this dvds oh i see sealed dvds in there oh more dvds look in there you guys cds dvds it says right here DVDs. I think that's what that is. Actually, I thought there was more golf clubs for some reason. I thought there was more golf clubs. I'm like, oh, this thing's going to be full of golf clubs. Uh, but there's a lot of golf clubs. I just thought maybe there's more. But those boxes up there could be more golf clubs. So, oh, good. Here's a six-foot table right here. Folding table. And there's more priority mailboxes. This ladder's nice. That's probably 50 bucks. Actually, that looks in great condition. That's definitely 50 bucks. We got some plush. Some plush dolls in there. Oh. Wow, I haven't been this deep actually. I think Clyde got back here, but I didn't. Oh man, you guys, this looks really interesting. DVDs, books, wow. Last box of bedroom, books, closet, tubs, fragile. So much stuff, right? This is good, 1300, 1300. What do you guys think? Put in the comment below if you, uh, what you think. Like, is this a good investment for 1300? If you guys watch a lot of videos or if you do storages on your own, you have, I'm sure, a good opinion about what you think, uh, you know, 1300 should buy. Oh, something really nice. Leather bag right there, very soft. There's, oh, brand new tennis racket. <laughs> yes, this is Crocs golf towels that's what it is huh. wow okay this is gonna be fun i've been really really anxious to get into this but where do we start i mean look at this is the problem this is a choke point right here <laughs> you can't really even get through here uh with boxes i mean to be carrying boxes so i'm gonna start out here that's where we're going to start <sighs> okay i'm out <laughs> the door is right over there Cars parked right outside, so not too far to go. Look at this. I got a garbage bag. I got a dolly. Guys, even though some dollies over there. Guys, I am prepared. All right, so let me get the chest harness on, and we're just going to start getting some of this junk out of here so I can take a trip to the dump. I've got my truck half-loaded with dump from leftovers from the flea market. So let's go. All right, there we go. We are set up. I'll tell you what. I'm too old to be doing stuff on the ground. <laughs> that just doesn't work for me. It does not work for me. Okay, so this, I don't know about the bottle caps, but the bottles are all recyclable. So I'll take this home and put this in my personal recycle at my house. Dispose of those proper. 
we got here? Okay. It's sealed. Limon de Sorrento. And there's alcohol. What else is in here? Some more recyclable stuff. It's garbage pretty much. I mean not garbage. But they'll recycle cardboard at the at the uh, dump. They're actually pretty pretty fanatical about that. Oh whoa, okay. Now we're added to the story. Check this out. We have not just one lock, but two locks. This has been cut a couple times now. Very interesting. Very interesting. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a uh, putter handle grip by Win. Hmm, okay, it's got the number on it, but a little better if it had a uh, barcode. This box is too big to just be housing a few of these things here. So that's going to go to the dump right there. These, it would be really nice if I can get these on Amazon, send them into Amazon FBA. I'll have to look into that. This one's heavy. These are not empties. Hayes Ranch, Merlot, Lucky Horseshoe. There's another one. A couple more. Oh, this is something different. Monte Baca, Cabernet Sauvignon, Napa Valley 2003. I don't drink much wine, but when I do, this would be the type of wine I drink. Merlot and Cabernet. What is this? Vendemia? Is this, what is this, Span Spanish wine? 1999, that looks pretty good too. Another one. 2006, Rosso di Montalino, La Fortuna, also sounds Italian, La Gurla, Corato, Toscana, this definitely sounds Italian, okay, let's put that there, I am not going to be bringing these to the flea market, not until I do a little research on it, I have a wine fridge at home, but it is completely full because I just don't drink enough wine, I've not been drinking anything really, but I don't want to sell Good wine, cheap at the flea market. If I can avoid it, that's not the goal. Right. More recycle here. More recycle. That's, that's a lot of recycle already. And here's a laundry basket with a bunch of bags in it. Okay. Bags are good because we'll bring it to the market, let people get bags when they buy stuff from us. But there's also just miscellaneous junk going in here too. Just a piece of random cardboard. Some junk mail and some newspapers. Oh, nice briefcase. There's a little tarp. I love having little tarps. Throw that in the back of my truck. And there's some credit card statements in there. He's got like a twenty thousand balance on his card. That's a that's that's a little high, I would say. A lot of golf magazines in here. A couple nice little golf towels. Interesting. eBay picks right here. eBay picks. That is interesting. I'm gonna have to bring that home and look at it because I don't know if he's got a lot of this stuff listed on eBay. I looked up his store. I was able to find his store if you can believe that. Store has zero content. So if he did pass away, I think someone probably contacted eBay and they pulled all the listings. So. Uh, but I don't know if there's stuff in here that was previously listed. Maybe I don't have to photograph it That would save me a lot of time Okay, that was all just junk mail, but I, I have a laundry basket to sell now. So there's always that yeah, This little shelf looks a little uh, littler now This kind of stuff right here. I definitely use we use this kind of stuff all the time I'll make a box over here to take home uh, I use it all the time because we ship so much stuff in our live auctions all the time We ship stuff every week and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say live auction We do live auctions every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific on YouTube All right, only on YouTube not on Facebook You got to go to our YouTube channel to see the auctions and that's your chance to buy some of the better stuff that comes out of units, all right? I'm hoping a lot of stuff here is gonna be in the auction. I'm hoping it'll be good enough. You know, a lot of this will also go to the flea market. We only want the best stuff for our auctions. Keep it exciting, guys, keep it exciting. A little tie rack right there. That is not gonna make our auctions. <laughs> interesting thing about this unit is there is actually two units owned by the same guy and I bought the first one and then the guy who was bidding against me wound up buying the second one 
I didn't really care for the second one, at least not what I could see. So I passed on it. I mean, it didn't pass. I bit him up to 750 or something and let him have it at that point. So he got that one. And immediately after the auction, I mean, right after we were standing outside talking, me and some of the other guys, and he came up to me and says, hey, um, I want to make you a deal on that. I'll give you $3,000. And I was like, wow, that's fair, but um, no thanks. Uh, I, I, I also peaked in mine, and I like it. He looked at me like I was crazy. Like, how could you turn down that? That's $3,000. And I was like, yeah, no, it's very fair. It's tempting. Uh, I appreciate it and all that, but no thanks. I'm, I'm going to pass. And he actually stood around, I think, waiting for me maybe to change my mind, but I didn't. So I saw him at the flea market on Saturday because I couldn't figure out why wouldn't he just bid 3000 you know? Oh, neat. Look at this. Three Stooges car shade. How cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's neat. Couldn't figure it out. Why wouldn't he just bid $3,000, you know, if he wanted it so bad? So at the flea market, ran into him and he goes, the reason why I offered you so much is because I went in my unit and I opened one of the cabinets and I found a ring. And then I saw a bunch of records, some old records, and they were good. He's like, so then I thought, well, yours must be good because this guy seemed to have good stuff. And I'm like, oh, it's got good stuff. Trust me, we looked around, it looks it looks good, which is why I declined your offer. So anyways, that made it, that added to the intrigue here. It's like, well, if you found a ring right away, what are we going to find? Then he also told me that the facility told him that the guy passed away. Now, I talked to the facility also and I was kind of probing to see if they knew anything and they didn't seem to know anything at least not the guy I was talking to so I didn't get that same information but uh, I went back and researched the guy and I can't find anything that suggested he passed away so I'm not sure if that's accurate or not but as you guys know, when we find a unit from an owner that has passed away, it does add to the intrigue because now we have something that, like, basically no one's come and picked through and took all the good stuff before they went delinquent, right? That's usually the case. And um, we tend to find better stuff in those kinds of units. So that definitely adds to the intrigue on this one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, I'm making a little bit of progress here, right? Ooh, that's heavy. Surprisingly heavy. Uh, I think it's paperwork. <laughs> It's surprisingly disappointing, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. All junk mail, bills, and catalogs. And a really gross dead centipede right there, too. Gross. Ooh, there's a couple of them. Nasty. I really want to get these out. I have no place to put them. I really don't. Like I said, I listed one box. I think I marked them 30 bucks each. I think they're the other ones on eBay are like 40 to 50 bucks. I tried to underprice it to maybe move them quick, but they just don't sell that often. Okay, Foot Joy and Reebok Sport Insoles. Look like they've been open though. Flea Market. A little wiffle balls. This is pretty good right here. Every time I find these, I just sell them. And I, I kept a couple of them, but then I charge them up. They don't really hold a charge. So maybe this one's going to be better. It says right there, charge immediately upon purchase because they're not supposed to be uh, set too long and go dead. The batteries get ruined if they go dead. So I'm going to take it home and charge it up and see if it will hold the charge. It would be very convenient to have one of those. It's for jumping your car, if you guys don't know what that is. Jumping your car, all right? He's got all these little tools right here. I imagine that's for cleaning your golf clubs. <laughs> Probably this is recycled too. Let's see. Yep. Okay, and this one's aluminum, so. Oh man, it might be a little bit of money there, but not much. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh, one-handed. Haha. <laughs> okay. Got some socks. Interwoven. They look like they're decent socks, but you know what? They're just socks. They also look like they're mostly used, except for this one. Flea market. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> All right, I don't think these are free. Does eBay give you that for free? I don't think so. That's some good tape. I'm gonna be using that for sure. Oh, show. A lot of stuff in here I can use. There's some Cardi Mail bags, lots of packing tape, good stuff. Even a little painter's tape, I do use that too, believe it or not. There's a few golf balls, it's funny, we just sold a bunch of golf balls. Oh, made in Italy. Hmm, okay. Mmm, this I think is for cleats. I'll put it over here, just in case I need that in a little bit. Here's another one. 
tuned for more distance. No, maybe that's for uh, golf clubs then. I don't know. Okay, what's in here? A lot more supplies, okay. For some reason I think that this is all for repairing golf clubs, right? Uh, maybe that's for cleats or something. A bunch of golf tees. Club covers. Ooh, that's nice. Look at this. These are plastic with foam. They are not golf, uh, not like, you know, they're for, I think, hitting in your backyard or something. HX practice balls. Very nice. Wow, I don't know what all this is for. A little sandpaper. The Bridges Golf Club. That's right near our house, actually. Grip tube. Golf grip scrubber. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I don't know what to do with that stuff just yet. Let's put it over there. We're trying to do two things here. Make room and find stuff to go to the dump. Stuff that's ready. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what's in here because I don't know if this is empty. I hear something rattling around. Nope, not empty. But these are not golf clubs. These are just the shafts, right? Uh, new Adila golf clubs. Whoa, 200 bucks for all these right here. So these are 40 bucks. I don't know if that's 40 for one shaft. I think it is. This is Adila. 40. Wait, is that right? 40 bucks for one shaft, or is it for a bunch of them? Hmm. Can't get rid of these boxes. I might need those for shipping. There's another box. Mm -hmm. More. Wow. Okay. They seem awfully nice. They're very lightweight. There's a number on this one right here, Fuji, something Fuji, made in Japan. Fuji Kura, Fuji 80. There's some with grips back here, Fuji Kura. Alright. Alright, see so, you now something like this, this could be, if this is 40 bucks each, that's a big money, but even if they're 5 bucks each, it's gonna add up pretty dang quick. It's gonna add up pretty quick. Pretty quick, pretty quick. <laughs> Matches, bolts, twine. Cigar holder, that's funny. Oh, what we got here? K-bar, it's an old knife, nice. That's cool, I like it. Cheese cloth. That's nice for cleaning. A couple big fat markers right there. It's more packing tape, good. Velcro. Nice. Huh, hmm, touch and light. This, there's a fair amount of stuff in here. I mean, I mean flea market stuff. Coax cable, coax cable, no, that's something else. And uh, an extension cord. Okay, we got a ton of towels. Oh boy, we got some kind of little centipede or millipede, uh, Breeding grounds down here. That's disgusting. And a couple beetles in a spider web. Something that's like a little insect playground down there. Gross. Uh, knife block that <laughs> the glue just came apart on that. How funny. How cheap. Let's see what's in here. This looks vintage. 1977. What is this? Linda Ronstadt, how funny. Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> Francis Ford Coppola, Napoleon. Old movie poster, huh? Carla Bono. And bedtime for, I don't know, 1981. Yeah, that was kind of cool. A little bit, a little bit, not much, just a little bit cool. Okay. What's this? A little rubber mat. Flea market, okay. I see a baseball bat here. There's a mop, and here's a, actually that's kind of nice, window. Ooh, what's this though, Bushnell. Garbage Pro. Well, that looks expensive. What do we have here? Whatever it is, we've got two of them. They look brand new, and that does kind of look expensive. GPS range finder. Now that one's different though. Hmm. That's good. I'll take those home and get those listed. What's this? Telephone answering system with time and day. It's been open, so let me just make sure it's what it is. Yes. That can go to the flea market. Okay. 
got a garbage can here. Okay, that's awesome and all, but um, I prefer my garbage cans in that size. But this one, yeah, that's good for the flea market. Trader Joe's coffee filters, aluminum foil, brand new, parchment paper, protein powder, just make sure. Yep. Cutlery, cutlery, and garbage. <laughs> it's funny, there's just random household stuff thrown in here. Yep, here's more recycle. Okay, these are good for the flea market right here. More bags for the flea market. Okay, all these boxes, like I said, these shipping boxes and stuff. I'm putting them right here. We're going to take those. We're going to take those home. Oh man, there's so many supplies here. Let's see if this is empty. It does feel like it's full, but let me make sure. Nope, it's empty. All right, no keyboard. We do have a mouse. That can go to the market, and this can go to the deck. Okay, let's see what's here. <laughs> We're making a, a little bit of progress here. Definitely looks different than when I got there. That's an empty roll. Oh, BMW 1993 uh, service manual, owner's manual. A little bit of value here. What's in here? Mm, a lot more golf stuff. Spikeless golf cleats. Okay. Cleats. Cleats. I think that's what all this is, is cleats. All right. LL Bean shoes worn. Those look like they're pretty comfortable. Nice. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Some sort of a jigsaw. Hmm. Look at that. Looks like something spilled in here now. Looks like oil or grease or something spilled in there. Huh. Little jigsaw. That's interesting. Cut off machine, it says. I bet you, oh, look at this. I bet you it's for cutting those uh, golf clubs, the shafts. Trim them down to size so, so they can fit, you know, custom customize them for a person's height. Put it back. Some sort of a battery there. That looks like for a laptop or something. There's some cheese knives. And then there's a mattress bag. Okay, I got a phone call in the middle of that one. It was just some shoes at the bottom of that bag. Junk mail and shoes. So I took that bin out. It was all paperwork. And then I grabbed the box right there. It feels like paperwork. Vases. Glasses. Fragile. Maybe not. Oh, it's paperwork. Dang it. So much paperwork. That entire whole thing was paperwork. But at least we have a nice, sturdy, clean little box right there. Okay, as much as that sucked, getting a whole box of paperwork, that actually is the kind of boxes I'm looking for right now, as weird as that sounds. Uh, only because I'm trying to find the junk so I can get rid of it. Ooh, what do we got here? What did this one say? Case Logic CD tape. Alright. This is a little better. Mm, it's all stuff that he burned or recorded though. Roy Orbison, James Taylor, Go Go's, Fleetwood Mac, good stuff, but not not terribly valuable. What's this? Peppermint herb tea. Ugh, just the tin. Empty cassettes right here. These are nice cases right here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> He's an organized fella. Mm, okay, this is different. This is good. CDs. Chef H. Char South Park. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, uh. The Judds, Winona R Judd, the Judds, Benzedrine Monks of Santa Domingo, Harry Connick Jr. Ooh, Songs from the Big Chair, Tears for Fears. Man, that's so good. I just watched some of their live performances like on YouTube recently. Those guys are just incredible. Incredible. Still good. Tchaikovsky, Natalie Cole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, whatever. This is a little better. I might put this in the live auction. All right, you know, keep talking about those live auctions. And we're looking for the good stuff. 
like that. The cassettes, however, the cases are worth some money, but the cassettes I don't think are worth very much money. So that's going to go to the penny market right here. Okay, let's get another box. This one right here sounds terrible. Food, perishable. Sounds like exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> yup, 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 yup. Okay, but you know what? I might just bring it to the flea market anyway. Okay. Yeah, spices, salt, corn. I don't think any of that really is it's perishable. Edna's recipe files. Ooh, that's, that sounds a little more interesting. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Okay. What you got, Edna? Show me something good. The guy used the right type of tape. The painter's tape comes off very easy. So many people use packing tape or duct tape. Drives me crazy. All right, that's what, exactly what he said it was. This is uh, recipe files. Crusty cornbread. Look at this. Some of them are typed out. He came from a, a family of organized people. There's handwritten one. Tall house cookies. There's a typed up one for brownies. Chocolate walnut balls. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Juvenile humor's kicking in. These maybe, perhaps, we'll put in the auction? I don't know, what do you guys think? You wanna see that stuff in the auction? I'll put it aside and we'll make up our minds later. But this stuff right here, probably flea market. A couple umbrellas, a little floor mat there. That'll be flea market. That actually looks like a nice umbrella right here. It's like got a kind of almost like a golf club handle uh, end on it, that's nice. Stub wrench. Oh, for sprinklers. Yeah, that'll sell at the market. <laughs> Dutch oven mi and mixer bowls. And it's a shark vacuum. Oh boy. That's how we're doing it, huh? <laughs> That's how we're doing it. Some drill bits. Drills, drills. Parts there. That's good. That's, yeah, that's some nice stuff. Another drill there. Okay. Shark vacuum is kind of cool. Put that in there, that'll all go to the free market. Okay. Oh, this one's heavy. <laughs> books, books, blah, blah, blah. Ah, books. I think we've had this book before. I swear we've got this book that we found in a locker years and years ago. And of all the books, I keep almost nothing. And I'm pretty sure I kept this one, I think. I think we have that book somewhere. <laughs> the Sopranos. <laughs> it's funny. All right, we'll take that to the market too, I guess. Okay, let's not do that again. I don't want to take boxes of books out just to bring them right back in again. I don't have a place for them right now. We need to find the junk. And it's funny, huh? Because most people go through their lockers and are like, where's the good stuff? And I go through my locker, I'm like, where's the junk? Show me the junk. I want the junk first. Duct tape. I don't know. This is golf works. Maybe it's a special type of tape. There's more of it right here. Yeah, this is some tape stripper. This is something special. Wow, look at this. Universal grip gauge. That might... Here's another one. Those probably have some value. Oh! <laughs> right, this stuff... This stuff... I just can't bring it to the market without doing a little bit more research. Gripping Essentials Kit. I'll put it aside. Mm, 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 mm. I, don't, I don't even like hearing myself say that. I don't like it. So I'm have too much stuff put aside pretty soon. Okay, things are getting... Oh, oh, this is getting a lot more interesting. Okay. Yes, yes, this is more like what I like to find. Notepad? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, a 